last note, bro. <laughs> Take that before I drop that in my driveway and get it in my tire. stocked up. Now we just need some cameras set up in the magoon and we're off. Okay, what's wrong? I got the broom on my hand. Not interested. Hello, folks. Glass is dirty. Come here, being so good. This is just not like you. Mm -hmm. okay. It's raining outside. Okay. My helper. All right, folks. So, what's happening? Cameras. Oh, I should shave, eh? A little bit of a dark old man look happening here. The little bird I picked up looks like a sparrow. Sparrow, starling. No, it looked like probably a starling. More like a starling. Doesn't look like a baby starling. I put it in the other side of the fence. It'll die. Nothing I can do about it. It jumped out of the nest too early. So, Mother Nature. I ain't saving it, okay? It's not a cricket. <laughs> it was a cricket. It'd be a different story. Anyways. Here's 
you know, we have a soft spot for crickets. Yeah, the little bird probably will die tonight. You know, maybe a fox will come through and get it. It's, uh, something happened to it. It was all shooken up, I guess you could call. I gotta find a, I gotta set this up so I can do a work thing. Platform. Hmm. Doug, I'm not gonna make you move. I'm gonna work around you because like, there's lots of room here. Of course, I had to find the flimsiest piece of plywood. Oh, man. What else could I use? Oh. oh, that's bad. Sorry for painting. I might have to cut it over the bench. Okay. Age of the camera can. Oh, sorry. This is where we cut the hole, the can, and then we 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 paint it. Now I gotta get my little template from my last one I cut. Okay, folks, I, I gotta go. I uh. Yeah, I got two of these. I'm gonna leave you here. If somebody pops in wondering why you're staring at a garbage can, just let me know, I'll be right back, okay? Back. Back. My glass has got water on it. I'm glad I checked that. I, I didn't want to make the holes that big. So my other template... I got this number wrote down, seven and a half inches. It's wrote down for a reason. But I didn't write the definition of seven and a half inches. <laughs> like, what does the seven and a half mean? Hmm. Must be the height. Makes sense. Yeah, it's got to be the height. It's got to be seven and a half is the height. 
got to do what that means. I, I wrote that number down for a reason. See, this is when I, for the other one that I cut, but it's too big because I, I've got to make it so it's higher up because this camera is going to be over at um, the Magoon. Well, they're going to be like, there's a potential of having uh, water splash on. Why did I put that book back there? That, uh, Well, I'm going to go a little smaller. I'm going to go six and a half. I can always cut it later. It's easier to make the hole bigger than make it smaller. Actually, you can't make the hole smaller. You're, you're pretty well at the point of no return. I would rather have it. Because the smaller the hole, the more of the storm the camera can withstand. That's the whole idea. Because these cameras, potentially, my idea, folks, is to have two of them on the Magoon. That's my idea. We'll see how it works out. Or one of the Magoon permanently and... Um, um, Two or four running in the in the pen, something like that. I'm going to raise this up so you can get a like a bird's eye view here. What's going on? Why is this for? The camera's going inside the can. Yeah, just like the other ones. Exactly exact same thing. This is how I made them. I'm sharing it with you on a Saturday afternoon. Exciting stuff. It's it's not really duck oriented, but it is duck oriented because, well. All those bags of feet I brought in are the lure for the uh, wild ducks. Because, oh, and Robert today, he felt really bad about the vegan thing. But, um, but what he did for us, he's, he gave us the 43 bag discount price for 10. That's pretty awesome. Because Robert's usually a, a pretty stickler when it comes to his discount program. You don't buy the volume, you don't get the discount. That's basically the way it works with him. But he, he for today, he said, oh, you can have the, the 43 bike price. So I was like, right on. Thank you so much. So, we'll see how long. That's 130 bucks. But if it keeps the, the, the wild ducks and the geese here, and our ducks at the water while we have the stream running because there's going to be lots of time the stream is running and uh, there's um, only wild ducks so at least there'll be ducks the magoon will have something you know what I mean 
and it'll hopefully it'll be um, it will be um, um, entertaining enough to keep you here as a subscriber to the I guess we could call this the Patch Together Duck Adventure. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of ways to keep me interested. Oh. And now with the days getting so long, then, uh, then we should have some good action at the Magoon on the off hours, you know, before the ducks get out. Because the ducks gotta stay in until I get their egg situation. I want all the eggs I can get out of them. Because I'm gonna feed them pellets later. I'm not gonna switch them over and pan to green. They should eat like little pigs a little better at the Magoo. Okay, so that's a camera hole. Now I'm gonna cut them. I knew I wrote that down, eh? Seven and a half. I should write it on this, too. I'm going to write down seven and a half. I'll probably never make any more. From the top. Now I know what seven and a half means. Okay. Now, sharp knife. Because, you know, we really don't need to cut myself. New blade. Let me get rid of the old blade here. Okay. This is really soft plastic. So. I'm wearing the wrong glasses too. A little bit of a blur happening here. Too close. I'll switch back to those. We're on the many different ways, many, many, many different strengths of glasses here. Well, that's I don't want to cut myself. Whoa, it would be just live on YouTube, big slice. One camera hole.
This stuff stinks, this garbage can. The plastic, you can really smell the plastic. It's amazing too, because I think they're last year's garbage cans because they were on the rack at the very top and they were still, they, they were like, the dust was pretty thick. I, I turn my head to talk to you folks, but I got a sharp knife in my hand, so I gotta I gotta focus right now. It wouldn't be good if I slipped, would it? So the rain, it's like, it says that it's supposed to be like pouring, but it's sprinkling. Ducks could have came out. Could have. But the problem is, is that I, I, oh, I would have the camera. Yeah, that was close. The, uh, the camera situation. I got to get these cameras done. And get them set up so that we, if the weather situations like this, we don't have to worry about it, you know, because it's a pain with the rain and cameras. Because the tripod is really not meant to be out in the rain. But the camera can, it doesn't matter. It's been tested, it knows. I know, it's safe. It could be some pretty crazy storms. Haven't had a camera get wet yet in this design that I have come up with. And because of all those uh, cement blocks we found last year and we dug up the burn, um, I've got like lots of weights for the bottom. Lots, there's no way the can's gonna blow over. All those bricks that I found last year it was like, I was like, and they fit perfect in the bottom of the can, like absolutely perfect. All right. Okay. There we go. And of course, I throw nothing out. You never know. You might need chunk of plastic later. Okay, so this next uh, piece of this video is going to get loud because I got to change my glasses because we're going to I got to get the sander and I got to buff uh, the the, uh, the the slippiness off the, the can. So you're probably going to have to like mute unless you want to hear a compressor going. But, Because if I don't give it a buff, I found this last year. If I don't, because it's so slippery, the paint don't stick to it. It's got some kind of plastic uh, uh, slipperiness to it. So, but let me get uh, the sander. And I'll get some fresh sandpaper. I think I use this a little bit.
Got a problem. I never thought of checking this. Why do I have so much fine paper? I never have this. I don't do this kind of fine work. I'm, I'm a rough it kind of guy. I have no idea why I have it. The probably there. I can. I know why. Because I don't use the stuff. That's why I have so much of it. And the one I use all the time, I don't have any. I need some coarse. 280, 400. Okay. 280. Hmm. Pork. No idea where that's there. Okay, what's this? What's this? One of these. There's an 80. Well, it's 100. That'll work. We're not doing finishing work here. It's a garbage can. The camera's out in the bush. But I'm definitely going to have to buy myself some more sandpaper. What's this one? What's this? Why do I have... Well, there's an 80. Ah, it's the, the rough one. Well, I've got, I got quite a selection here, folks. I, I didn't need to buy any. No idea why I have such a, uh, a mess here. That's worn out. Why did I keep worn out sandpaper? No piece of worn out sandpaper. I'm finding stuff I didn't even know I had. So that's always a bonus in the hardware store when you find inventory you didn't know you had. But getting rid of the packages here while I got you watching me. A 240. Oh man, oh man. I don't believe the selection I have here. It's a mixed mash of everything. I don't even remember buying this.
Nothing like watching a guy sorting sandpaper live on YouTube on Saturday afternoon. See, this is this is what if this was a video, I would edit all of this out, and you wouldn't be subjected to this. I would have had all this ready, and you would have went, "My God, that guy's organized on YouTube." It's going to get loud here soon, trust me. Having a hard time with the measurements. The pressure. I'm really surprised I had sandpaper. I thought, I was like, oh no, I don't have any sandpaper. I didn't think this through today. But we're in luck. It's happening. All right, um, I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna do this, I think, I'm gonna try to do it right here. Let's we'll see if this works. It's gonna be loud, so I'll warn you right now. You're gonna hear like the air going You know the sound, but you will show See if you can see this. Okay, see how shiny it is? See the shine? The paint don't stick to that. Flakes right off. Okay? So I'm going to give it a buff with the 80 weight and uh, de-shine it, I guess you would call it. <laughs> 
Up for the paint to stick. The hands just vibrate, folks. It's not like a good vibration feeling, you know what I mean? No, we're painting it white.
then the shine goes away. Gotta get my hand a little bit of a break. I need a drink of water.
a little bit louder. I could have got a little flimsier plywood too. Now this should only take one coat, so I can get away with a throwable, throwaway paintbrush. I should be able to. Trying to get myself set up here for pain. Would you rather would you rather have the camera facing this way or the camera facing the other way? What do you think? No one's going to answer me. So I gotta get the camera in the right spot here because once I start painting, I'm gonna be covered in uh, this way. So you can look at me painting. Well, that's not bad actually, right there, right? It's like everything, okay. Get myself set up here. Okay, this can of paint is, is safe to shape because it has not been opened yet. So, or right now the can could blow off the lid and spray me with white paint in the face. Yeah, speed speed, but that was a can that had been opened before. No, I spray paint, no, no, not in here. If I spray paint in here, I have to spray paint in the back of the truck. And then it would take many, many coats to get the white I, I desire. But if this works out, 
one single coat with this because you can put it on much thicker. My supervisor. What do you want? Hey, what do you want? There you go, what do you want? Hmm? What do you want, little dog? Hey? <laughs> can, can you believe how much of a suck he is? Huh? Dougie. The foot. The foot. Oh, dog. No, he doesn't do treats in the garage. He just wants attention right now, folks. That's all he's doing. It's just for tension. This is what he does to me when I'm out here working. If I paint the blood red, they'll, they'll overheat. The idea is white so that in, when the sun's baking on him, it doesn't fry the equipment. He is cute, isn't he? He's very cute. And he knows it, too. He plays it like a fiddle. So it's got to be white because for heat. That's why the only reason to paint them, folks. If it wasn't for this, I wouldn't paint them. But I have to because they get really hot. Cover them in aluminum foil. And how do you think that would work out handling them all the time? Purple. Some silly answers here I'm getting today. Hang on. Let me take this, the fur out of the way here. Yeah, aluminum foil would work better, but okay, how do I stick the aluminum foil? Hang on. How do I stick the aluminum foil to it? And how do I make it durable? See how much banging around these cans get? Lots of banging around. So I'm putting two pairs of gloves on because I'm, I'm anticipating getting nothing on me. That's the plan. Might not need two pairs of gloves. I bought these new ones. They're a little heavier. Well, I probably should put two pairs on, eh? Probably should. It would be difficult adhesive, uh, the, the aluminum foil, and then it would rip. You'd get rips in it. it just wouldn't work. This works. White works. Okay, these don't have any powder inside, so they're a little more difficult to get on. Having problems. The struggle. The struggling with the gloves. I, I bought something today, folks. Driving down the boulevard. Farmer's market was taking place. Okay? And I looked at the farmer's market. Normally, I have no interest in the farmer's market this year. And uh, there was this red sign on, on a tent at the farmer's market when I was driving through town. And does anyone have any idea what the red sign said? Bacon makes everything bigger? Better? No, it wasn't that. Bacon has nothing to do with this. Serious question. Does, I bet you nobody is going to know what the, the, the red sign said. Vista, you're close. The crickets for sale. You know, no, um, the pie lady. And I did a UE and went back into the fairgrounds and I cut across the field with the truck. And I was just four-wheeling her across the grass, going right towards the pie lady uh, tent. 
I bought a pie. Wild blueberry pie. Okay, time to paint. I should get a rag out. I should get a rag just in case I'm an accident. It would be a good idea to have a rag already up. Just in case, you know, you never know. You never know. Stay all I should have got a bit of board. The, the spray paint last year, Vista, it took three coats to get uh, it white enough that you couldn't see it anymore. to do two. I got it, I got it, but I'm hoping I don't have to. Yeah, the shaky uh, surface I'm working on sucks. This might take two coats. Still, I think maybe it was four. No, it was three. Three coats I did at the back of the truck. I got the heat on here tonight. So I can do another coat tomorrow. The thing is, you know, I was supposed to do these in March. But in March it was pretty iffy what was going on here. I guess you could say we're in a bit of a flux.
spray can be a lot more fun, I will admit. This is like work pain. I should have got a better piece of a board. Yeah, spray paint would be way more fun. Yeah, it would be a lot more. And now I just realized I got a camera. I bought the camera. Not much of a cameraman here. I'm not really too worried about the runs either. It's not like, you know, it's like an auto show or anything. If anything, I wish the brush was bigger. She's not holding a lot of paint. But it does take a lot less paint with uh, brush. It's way cheaper. This was a cost effective way of doing it. things cost effective. Sort of excited though, now the cameras are here, like we next week we'll have them running. 
except the cable. I can't believe I didn't have the cables here. But they'll be here this week too. I wasn't totally organized. Being a little bit off my game. I think another coat tomorrow, and they'll be like super shiny white. They'll get all splashed with mud, but... I can have cameras all over the place here. So. It's going to be epic. This one I'm going to do the top last. Exciting stuff, painting, the smell of fumes, oil. You know what's really bothering me right now is my hands are sweating and the cuts on my hands from the, the Muscovy are stinging from the sweat. Evil Muscovy Duck.
just realized I wasn't talking. I was, I was just in, in intense pain. Focus and hard. I painted these last year, the two I did last year. The first one I painted, I didn't sand. And the first week, all the paint flaked off of it. It was a mess. And I even bought the special paint. It said that it was for plastic. It was special plastic paint. They lied. It didn't stick. Worth a damn. Doug snoring over there. I heard a little bit of a rumble here. The dog. <laughs> Doug, wake up! He's got such a low rumble. It almost sounds like a motor. Get a bit of a mess here with the can. This is how you normally don't paint, but, but it's it's just garbage. You're not supposed to pour it on. But it's really quite amazing how, you know, like none of it's safe and like soaking in into the plastic, but it sure disappears pretty quick.
Can number three. We're cooking with gas. I didn't need my... Uh, I was just thinking of pouring it on the can. She wants to jiggle all over the place. I'm actually surprised how much paint I'm going through here. I wonder if I've got a can of white here. On the wrong side. How many times did I say I should have got a little thinner piece of wood put underneath? She's pretty flimsy. It would suck. I shouldn't say it. But drop the paint on the floor. Well, now that I'm thinking of that, I think tomorrow I'll get another piece of ply plywood underneath. Get rid of this bounce. Too late now. We're on the home stretch. Excited, folks? A camera for the Magoon. Actually, potentially two cameras for the Magoon. One for sure. Well, actually, two during the day, one at night. There'll be a 24 7 one, and then uh, one that I can move around. Is the plan. Sort of like one is the overview, like we have now, and then one will be like right at water level. And the water level one will be the 24-7 stream, is the plan, is what I'm thinking.
And this is vegan paint. It's safe for, for vegans to, to drink. Will absolutely not cause them any harm whatsoever. I endorse it. I'm thinking I got enough paint to do exactly two coats of this little ordeal. So you paint your car. You just pour the paint on. I I'm thinking I got one more can of a partial can of white over there. I can see a can of red, but that would sort of defeat the purpose with bright red on top of this. Since I'm trying to reflect the heat. And fire engine red would be like well, it would be a good sign for the vegans, but go away. I might not be dry tomorrow. I might have to do this Monday. But we'll see. This stuff takes a long time to dry. You really should let it sit at least 48 hours. Sometimes, sometimes, depending on the temperature. I've seen using this paint in the fall take seven days for it to harden up.
Yeah, it's definitely going to take two colors. But it's going to, they're going to be, it's going to be really white afterwards. I did it. Right, folks. Five forty five. Okay, perfect. Just in time to go and eat a pie. No, I don't pay. Um, um, the 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 uh, the eaves need to be, the soffit needs to be done in black. The barn needs a bit of love because the chipboard's starting to get uh, flaky. So if I don't seal it with some paint, it's going to start getting all screwy. Haven't painted it in I'm trying to think 16 years. I built it in 2000, 18 years. Well, the chat. Why black? Because that's the color of the barn with the eaves, the gable, the gable ends, gable ends, not softers. Cam cans look good. I know I gotta go upstairs and close the windows so that the all the fumes stay in here because I got the windows upstairs open and I'm gonna keep the heat on and I'm gonna put a second coat tomorrow. And I just realized something else I gotta go on Amazon right now and order. I forgot another part for the camera cans. Yeah, 18 years. It's been that long. I, well, I, have, I built it in 2000. It was 2000. 2000 or 2001. I haven't painted it since. So it's pretty faded. But I'm really quite amazed how long it's lasted. But it was green stain. So it's not really paint. But you can see now there's no more finish left to it because when it rains, the walls get wet. And the problem with chipboard, once it gets wet, it starts expanding and they all comes apart. So this, this is the year. I got I to gotta do it. And I gotta fix the duck side of the barn because from the ducks splattering in the mud, they splattered the side of the barn, the back shed section of the barn, and the wall, the chipboard's rotted. So I gotta cut the chipboard out and put a new chipboard in because the ducks made it all uh, um, uh, sloppy from drilling last year. They, last year was really bad with all the rain we had and the drilling in the pen. I don't know how they did it, but they sprayed the wall up two feet with mud. No, I'm going to paint it green. It's already green. I'm going to keep it green. Changing color is a big, big time. So, yes, the front add on is getting painted green to match the backside. Forest green, everything. Just like it is on the backside, so it matches. So it doesn't look like plywood and pressure teeth on the bottom. No. So that's the deal. It's gonna happen this year. Some painting, painting time. Have sex with ducks. Why? Why would I want to do that, Golden? I don't think you're right in the head. I, I think Golden's got a problem upstairs. Hey, Golden's gone. <laughs> oh, the hammer came down, um, or the polit polit politically correct. Um, Phrase would be hidden. I did. Was he was he causing problems earlier? But it, really, it's technically hidden. It's sort of like painting over it, because it's no longer hammer stuff anymore. Because that's not politically correct. Because if you notice now, when they get banned, it says hidden. You know, so we don't offend them. 
Because we wouldn't want to offend somebody, would we? We're not that kind of show. Are we, folks? I wouldn't offend anybody. Oh, no, not me. He went right over the edge right away. He just jumped in both feet into the fire. Right? And, and um, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I know Virginia. I'm really good. Um, but, you know, they don't expect to get hammered so quick because if they get, uh, you know, they jump onto a lot of channels and you do that kind of stuff and nothing happens to you. They just don't expect to get pounded. Well, maybe it was a vegan. Maybe. Oh, hello, Tarek. Tarek. A823. So, folks, I'm going to go. I got this wild blueberry pie in the house that I paid uh, probably too much money for. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, and, and my pie is not vegan pie because they use lard in the pastry, is what they told me. So, it's not junk food, it's homemade. Big difference, big difference. It's, there's no preservatives. No preservatives at all. And they're wild blueberries. Made by an old lady. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna relish it and I'm eating the whole thing at once. The only way that I could make it better and what time is it? Actually, I could still do it. I could whip to town and really top it off with some really creamy ice cream, vanilla on top. You know, some of that, that vegan tolerant stuff? Not. The super dairy, super, super dairy. You used to wild blueberries when I was a kid. Stephanie, you got to go back to school, man. It's like you're the worst. You get too excited in the comments. Uh, oh no, Inga. This ice cream is awesome on top of the pie. It's so creamy. Pick them. Now Stephanie's gonna sh stick Stephanie is gonna stick to short sentences. The long ones, you're failing the grade. You're you're at a C minus, a strong C minus. Trust me, oh, that creamy vanilla, locally made, with that rich dairy, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, if you let it sit in the counter, it goes soft, Donna. But it's hard to start off with. Mm -hmm. It does take a long time to get enough for pies. That's a complete sentence, Stephanie. <laughs> Oh, you have no idea how good that I'm thinking of ice cream. I think I gotta go to town, get some ice cream for this pie. You've been in grade nine for 15 years. I feel for you, woman, I feel for you. How do you do that grade nine for 15 years? Like, aren't you cracking? Premium ice cream. The Cadillac of ice cream. That's what I mean. I'm going to go to the dairy. Oh. You drink. <laughs> you shouldn't admit that out loud, you know. Because what, I, what if, like, let's say one of the faculty or, like, the principal was watching? Child services? You know what I mean? You could be causing yourself a lot of grief. You know what, Virginia, when I used to collect blueberries when I was a kid, wild blueberries up on Blueberry Mountain at the end of my uh, lake, my parents had the cottage on, and you used to have to watch out the corner of your eye the whole time for the bears because the bears would appear on top of the, the mountain, the hillside where the blueberries were, and they would actually, they would chase you away and you'd have to run in, jump in the boat and take off because the bears would come down and they were like, we don't care you're here, there's blueberries here, you must leave. So we used to, right in the middle of picking, eh? 
we'd have to leave because the blue the bears would show up. And it's amazing how fast bears can pick blue. They're unbelievably fast at picking blueberries, the bears. But the uh, the uh, the the picking part to pick enough for a pie. Well, we used to do tarts because you could never get enough for a pie because you're eating them as fast as you're picking them, and that's the problem. And they're so small, the wild ones. So, like you know, you pick a a. a bucket like this and you eat half you come back your face is all blue your teeth are blue your tongue's blue everything's blue and you got enough just for tarts not enough for a, not enough for a pie so that's the problem but now at the grocery store they sell wild blueberries they actually sell them at the grocery store in a frozen bag two kilogram bag for like 15 bucks. I wouldn't want to pick two kilograms for 15 bucks. I, I couldn't imagine. That's a lot of picking. 4.4 4, 4. 4 pounds worth of blueberries. And they're selling them for retail for 15 bucks. I don't know how they do it. It's got to be picked by a machine. It's got to be. I heard that there's some kind of machine for picking blueberries, wild blueberries. So, I heard. I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'd have to look on YouTube. Maybe on YouTube they could show it to us. But I'm going to go because I'm thinking, um, I'm trying to think here what I'm going to do. Eat pie without ice cream or go to town and get pie for the ice cream. Or get ice cream for the pie, I mean. I don't know yet. Or just eat the pie. I'm having a hard time deciding this. The pie would be good. Without ice cream, I wouldn't have to drive to town get the ice cream this time. You're an enabler. Yeah, but if I get the ice cream, I'll have a wicked bloat tomorrow because I'll get into a lot of ice cream and we already know what a lot of ice cream could do to me, especially this ice cream. And I'm thinking, Donnie, you're right. Just eat the pie, darn it. I think you're right. You know, I know Stephanie, better with ice cream. The instigator. The ice cream is pretty dairy and it it, it, too much ice cream, you know what it can do to you? Too much dairy, eh? It's like you better take some stool softeners with your breakfast. Well, you know, with your, with your dessert. It's like <laughs> blueberry pie ice cream and stool softeners. <laughs> Just so you don't have a problem tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> because this ice cream is serious, serious cream. It's like eating blocks of cheese. A lot of dairy in it. I'm gonna go. Is that, I'm now, I gotta go. I got a, I got, I got a pie at least waiting for me. And I do have leftover duck from last night because I roasted a duck. I'm gonna have self control. I am Stephanie. I'm not going. I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna eat the pie. Basically, I have no control. The whole pie. Do you wanna know what I paid for the pie that I'm about to inhale? And actually, I told kind of cute Keith today to stop by his place to have a beer on the way home. And, uh, he, he, I told me, he said, I said, I saw, I saw the pie lady sign on the boulevard and uh, he goes, oh, so you bought a pie? And, yeah. and I said, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Well, yeah, you're going to eat the whole thing. I said, no, in one sitting. <laughs> because he was sort of like, yeah, who's gonna, who are you going to share the pie with? You're all alone. <laughs> no, I'm going to eat it all at once. Reheat some roasted duck and then just have the pie. No. 12 Canadian pesos. Yes. It, well, it looks like, a, it looks like a, a 9 or a 10 incher. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy it. I am right now. And the lady, she's really flaky, flaky uh, pie crust. So, no, Doug, I'm going to make sure. You, I'm, I'm not actually going to put it down. I'm going to actually hold the pie in my hand and just eat it right out of the bite. I'm not even, I'm not even going to slice it into four. I'm just going to eat it, like, as a, as one single serving. That's what I'm going to do. Not going to lie. So I'm going to say good night, and I'll see you tomorrow for coffee.